Hello and welcome to the plant recognition application tutorial. This is part of our series on AI in agriculture lectures. In this tutorial, we will build an application where a user can upload an image of any plant and it will first detect the species of the plant using the classification model. Once we are aware of the species of the plant, we will feed it to the Lawrence language model and get some information about the plant using the Lawrence language model. Let's check this application in action. Now, this is the front end. The front end has been developed in React and the back end is in Python. We are connecting the two using Flask APIs. So we have trained a classification model, which we fine tuned on YOLO version eight on a data set of around 300,000 plants, roughly around 1000 species. This is a very robust data set. Let's see if I can upload the image. This is an image of a plant. I upload it and click on the process button. The image is being processed now. This might take some time, not because of the classification model, but we are also feeding the output of the classification model to the large language model. As you can see here, this is the detected plant. This is the scientific name of this plant. Now, the large language model has automatically provided us with a basic information about the plant. It gives a brief introduction to the plant where it is found natively, its scientific name and its native habitat, etc., etc. It gives us some information about the plant. Let's say if we were to ask some follow up questions regarding the plant, if I ask it the question, is it edible? So it tells us that, yes, this plant is edible. You can see that it mentions that the young stem and the leaf stalks can be cooked and eaten. The large language model is basically GPT 3.5 Turbo. Now in this application for the first time, instead of using lane chain, instead of using lane chain, we are using something called embed chain. The embed chain is built on top of lane chains with added functionalities. It works better with vector databases and providing a quick retrieval from the vector databases. Also, it is better in terms of the prompt engineering that has been done on the back end to make sure that the large language model responds from within a provided source. In this case, what we are essentially doing is we have the name of the plant from the classification model. We fetch its Wikipedia page and then feed that to the model using embed chain. Then we basically interact with the GPT 3.5 model through the embed chain API. So this is going to be a bit interesting because you are going to learn about embed chain. Let me show you the embed chain GitHub repo. This is the GitHub repository. Here you can see that they have introduced a very basic code for this library. Here it's much easier to use as compared to lane chain. We can simply initialize a bot using the app class that they have defined. You can also simply add a source that you want to use for this chatbot. Let's say a Wikipedia page or video or document. You can add anything you want. It goes with almost all input data types and you can simply use this add function as the source of your information. You do not need to create any embeddings yourself and even vector database. Also, there is no need to write the code for fetching the important information from the vector database. Embed chain, handles all that for you. After doing this, you can simply run the command on bot.curie and you can pass the curie and it will give you the result. This is what we are going to use in this application. I hope that you enjoy learning embed chain in this tutorial. So let's get started. 